Well, good morning, everybody. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, I don't like adjusting any sights until I get about 100 rounds downrange. I like to have the barrel good and seasoned. And in order for me to get to that point, obviously I have to do some plinking. Got 25 grains of my homemade gunpowder, 380 round ball. I'm just looking to do some plinking so I can get to that 100 rounds. So just sit back and enjoy. As you can tell, I hope I have some clay pigeons up there. That's what my um, target's going to be. Just having some gay old fun. So welcome aboard. Okay, here goes the second cylinder. Kind of stood up some of those broken pieces. Let's see if I can't break some more. Well, there's a few misses in there, but there again, this is offhand. Let me get reloaded and uh, we'll just have some more fun plinking. This time, give you guys a little bit of a close up here. Now this next go around, I'm going to be shooting at one of these clay pigeons and if it looks like I missed, I'm not. I'm actually shooting through the hole. <laughs> if you guys believe that bullshit, I got a bridge I'd like to sell you. <laughs> Stay tuned. Well, there you go. There's that clay pigeon with the center shot out of it. I'm going to see if I can't put a couple right in the middle. Anybody want to take any odds? That does not happen. <laughs> I wouldn't take that bet. I told you I wouldn't take that bet. Uh, sweetheart, if you happen to be watching this video, I left you a lot of little pieces for you to pick off now with your 380 and your 9mm. Have fun. Okay, guys, I'm going to load up one more cylinder. She's getting a little dirty, and um, I'm getting close to the end of my powder that I put in my flask, so I'm hoping I can get another six rounds out of it and call it a day thanks for watching and i hope everybody will have a great day remember to keep your powder dry keep your aim straight and maintain your sensibility mm, bye
those little hiccups with the fact that the cones are getting dirty and I'm not able to push the number 10s on all the way but fortunately that was my last round and um, I'm gonna reposition the camera when I get up to the house because I want you friends to see just how clean this bore is with my homemade gunpowder stay tuned for that okay friends if you can look at the front of that barrel where the bullet exits you can see and I'm hoping the camera's really picking it up that shiny ring just at that cone that I cut into it I'm kind of rotating it moving it around so the Sun can reflect off it what you're looking at is the grease that is just behind the round ball now if you friends look at your revolvers and you can see a ring like that that's a good indication that you're getting plenty of lube down that barrel so what I'm going to do now is I have my bore light I'm going to move the camera into my blacksmith shop in the shade and I'm going to shine the light down that barrel and I want you friends to note just how clean that barrel is now with this particular shooting session I did not swipe or clean the bore out at all and I haven't run any patches or anything down to it it's just a testament to how clean um, my homemade gunpowder does burn so let me get repositioned and I'll show you the bore I'm going to try to move the barrel around because I recognize that when it's pointing just perfect the light really does obscure the barrel but I'm hoping that you friends can get a good enough glimpse down this barrel after all that shooting just to see how clean it is now as I stated before I like to believe it's a testament to the powder but it could also be to those properly lubricated felt wads and uh, for a shameful plug if you're looking for a good source <laughs> of um, wads don't forget to go to my store lame beaver trading company and I have an ample supply available for everybody but either way I'm really hoping that this camera can pick up just how clean that bore is after all that shooting 